Morning, good morning. Okay. Crazy week. We went way down on Friday, but we didn't even touch the 200 day. See, the, the, all this stuff doesn't make sense. So why would you not do that? That, that doesn't make any sense. Now, had a couple calls, people going through some of the plays and stuff. The plays were very good last week. You have to sell them. If you don't sell them, you get whacked. Okay, you got to sell them. They go up, they go down. Sometimes they never come back. Okay, so just got to know you got to sell them, sell them, sell them, sell them, sell them. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay, this week you got Tesla on the first is going to do that. We're going to give you the stockholders meeting and our our 10-year plan on how to get this $5 trillion. And they're buying it into that. And if the plan is viable, if people really believe it, then maybe it really goes crazy. Maybe it goes crazy and it runs up, way up, way up, way up. Okay? But today, I mean, to me, the market is very, very straightforward here. It's, it's all about NVIDIA, and it's all about Microsoft. Okay? Microsoft's huge upgrade on Friday should have taken off. It didn't do it. Uh, but is this chat GPT real? I mean, NVIDIA is telling you it is with the revenue that it's getting and the, and the cloud spending. So why, why Microsoft? Well, Microsoft, Dan Ives did a channel check. He had his people do a channel check on spending in the cloud. Well, Microsoft told us 5% lower, okay, 5% lower. And then Amazon said 5% lower. Well, Dan Ives said cloud is now trending flat to up. So it's not 5% lower. So, so right off the bat, Microsoft is 5% better. And so is Amazon. That's huge. That's telling you Snow, MDB, all the chips, NVIDIA are better in the cloud. Now, does that take just this quarter or does it start having growth again? Think about, just think about what's going to happen if Microsoft comes out with plus 5% in the cloud and Amazon comes out plus 5% in the cloud instead of minus 5%. Amazon's up 15 or 20. Microsoft probably hits 300. Crazy, right? Crazy. I don't know what's real. That's what they're telling you. That's what they're telling you. And NVIDIA, if the market can hold up today and go, this thing, if it trades at 241 today, watch out. 250, 260, 272. And they may spike it. They may spike it. So the simplest rule of thumb, if something goes up 30 points and goes down two, it's fine. Or three. If something goes up 15 and goes up three, goes down three, that's okay. It's, it's giving up half as bad. Okay, now the other thing with NVIDIA that's very, very important, very important here, is every single earnings winner has gone down. Every one, HubSpot, over 400, goes down the following week. Tesla, great news, goes down the following week. All of them. Apple was way up, goes down the following week. Netflix goes down the following week. Meta goes down the following week. Pan W, great earnings, goes down the next couple days. Now, it's holding, too. Right? So NVIDIA, in theory, should go down this week. But I don't think so. I think it's different. I think it's different. I think people are going to say, you know, even if it goes down, I'm okay with it. I'll just keep buying more. And I actually think what people are doing is they're, they're buying the 210 puts and the 215 puts. I mean, they're selling them. They're selling them. So if the stock goes down, they get the stock at a cheaper price, nonstop. I think that's what they're doing. Uh, because on any upside, th think about this. Here's the thing. The, the market is down 30 SPX. And the PCE comes out and it's bad. And it takes a pop down to 60 points. And then it can't go any lower the rest of the day. Think about that. 
and it closes down 44. Well, it was already down 30, so your bad PCE was worth 14. Interesting, right? So here's the thing. The market is upset because they don't think that there's going to be a cut, but only amateurs didn't think that thought there was going to be a cut. We know there's going to be no cut. There's going to be no cut or indication of a cut till you start getting news that says inflation is coming down. When does it come down? I don't know. But I'm seeing inklings of it coming down, and I'm seeing deflation. Let me tell you, pancakes, you you may not think so because not really expensive. But for people that making fifteen dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour, and having kids and stuff, pancakes is a big, big thing. Pancakes, eggs, big, 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 big. So when pancakes drop two bucks and eggs drop two bucks, that's a big deal. Now we told you one of the reasons that inflation is so high. Because a lot of these companies were going to miss earnings, and they said, let's just raise prices, and we'll lower them later. That's what the CEO says, but they never lower them. Never, ever, ever get lowered, ever. But eggs did come down, and so did pancakes. So that's a change. Do these places lower some of the prices? I don't know. But I'm telling you. Okay, you got you got to watch and really listen to what I say. I said if the PCE was low, the market explodes higher. Well, the PCE wasn't low, so it doesn't explode higher. I also told you a hot PCE takes the market down to ninety, uh, thirty nine fifty, thirty nine forty. You get to thirty nine fifty, didn't get to thirty nine forty. Okay, these are scenarios of what can happen. So now we have jobs coming Friday. If the jobs is lower by a hundred thousand than expectations, I don't know what they're expecting. Back to forty one hundred, forty two hundred. If not, right back lower, probably back to thirty nine hundred this time. These are possibilities on what can happen. If you don't understand the word if, don't trade. Just sit on the sideline. Don't train. Okay? What can happen? Now, we came in here this week with not much. So we don't have much. We don't have nothing, really. We have some stock. That's it. Why? Because Carter was in hospice and still happens if news comes that he passes and maybe the market's closed Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They can close it. You can't do anything about it. Go read characteristics and risks of standardized options. It says if the market is closed, it's closed. Too bad. All your options, everything expires. Okay? So just know that. Just know that. Now, most likely they wouldn't do that on an expiration day, but you never know. You never know. Okay? So that's what we know. That's what we know. That's what we know. Okay? Uh, so let's see how today plays out. SPX up 20, so that's better. Think about it. You have 39.90. What are shorts have? 39.90, and you have a bad CPI, a bad PCE, a bad jobs, and you're still at 39.90. Isn't that interesting? If you get three straight numbers that are lower now, how high do we go? That's what we know. That's what we know. And then you got this February thing where. These guys are saying we're going to go lower into, into March. Maybe possible. Let's see. So, but today, very straightforward. If NVIDIA gets bad, Microsoft gets bad, that it will be a tell. Okay? SPX, 4021, 4026, 4052 up, 3951 down, 3940, 39.32, then $3,900. Avago. Earnings, I believe, this week. Six, uh, 592, 601, 632, underneath 572. Now, remember, we're waiting for the first semiconductor company outside of Intel, uh, outside of NVIDIA, to tell us things got better. 
Is that a Vago? I don't know. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Might be. Then we see, right? Okay. Uh, NVIDIA. 239, 241. 241 is very, very huge. But the bigger thing with NVIDIA is every single stock goes lower the next week after earnings. Does this one get better? That's what we want to see. Underneath 231. 231, 222. CMG, what a dive. Food costs, what a dive. If they had a chance to buy the... The 1500 puts at a dollar, at a dollar, you could have bought them for a day. And they went to like 25 yesterday, 30, Friday. So food costs affects this company. Now on any pop, if this were to pop up to say 1550, 1560, and you get a chance to buy those uh, 1500s again, for Friday, for the jobs. Because if the jobs are bad, you're going to have the same thing happen again. Everything will go low. Then we see, then we see. Lime Research. If chips are better, the first inclination of when chips are better, this one's going to run 30 points. Not yet. The first time. It tried and stopped. Pan W. Another one. Does it go higher the second week? We haven't seen that yet. Okay. Uh, 191. Goldman Sachs, doing nothing, doing nothing. 371, they put a buyback out there, 352 down. Meta can't seem to get through 176 or 183 at all. So it's in no man's land up a little bit. Uh, snowman earnings this week, I believe. Remember, if chat TP really is a thing and snow beats, Guides up probably 192. Probably get some later in the week. Then we see. Underneath 126. MDB, 222, 231. The NASDAQ, underneath 11,900 is 11,500. Needs to get back to 12,200 and get you to 12,700 if the jobs is low. Not in line, low. Okay? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, NOW, 432, it closed under, so now you got 416. I didn't see what the CEO said on CNBC. If somebody knows and can summarize, let us know. Okay, 432, 451. Netflix, the news is bad. You don't cut prices on in every country if you're not doing something wrong, if, the, if it isn't good. I mean... Think, think about how Wall Street and all these people operate. Just think about this. You're Netflix, and five years ago, you're, what, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine for streaming? And then everybody starts raising prices. The only way you're doing good is let's just keep raising prices. People will eventually pay us $59 for Netflix. I mean, really. This is the mentality in all these boardrooms. Crazy, right? How is this not at 309 and 300 and 281? Then we see. Microsoft, very important today, needs 256. Apple, 148, 151. Google, breaking 90. You got 87 and 81. Wow. 100 to be better. Align Technologies. Are they buying again? New month. Are they buying? We don't know when they're buying. They're doing a big buyback. But if it starts to run, you got 322 pretty fast. Tesla, we told you Tesla into the stockholders thing. Probably can get to 209. Underneath 192 would be bad. And phase, think about this. This, this. this thing just can't seem to break. That's what we know. That's what we know. Okay? Needs 190. Down. 216 up. That's what we know. Comments, questions. That's what we know. Everybody have a great turn day. See you in chat.